So, ladies and gentlemen, everybody else, welcome to the short camp. You know, a lot of people, amateurs alike, you know, they're looking for probably the secret in the short camp, the advanced stuff, you know, all that. Maybe you're looking for filmmaking soon, you know, hinge and hold, and you're thinking, wow, I'm gonna do that. And I just yeah, like to hold that kind of question is, if you look at the other two pros, are they doing it? And the answer is no. Why is that? Probably because it's too fucking difficult. And they play for money. They don't want to do it difficult. They want to do something that's consistent and easy. So, what can we do not to do that as an amateur? Well, first the thing and foremost, if the ball is lying pretty well, like on the foregreen or on the fairway, you can set up on the right leg. That means that you get a more shallow attack. That means it's easier to get contact with the ball because you get very, very shallow. Now, number two thing is that first, you want to relax through impact. That means you relax. You see, most amateurs, they add grip pressure, grip pressure before they hit the ball. So they go here, and then you're gonna have it like that. And you think, realize when you, you know, go, if you hit the ball like that, you're probably gonna go too far, and then you learn to grip, to stop that, and you know, slowing down. So you want to relax through impact, you have to learn that by making sure you relax the impact. And the second thing we do, set up on the right foot, is to hit the ground under the ball. So relax the impact, hit the ground under the ball, and hit the shot. Now, when the ball sits down, we do a little bit differently. Well, one, just one thing. We sit, set up on the left foot, on the left leg, because now we get a more more steep attack, so we can get the ball first and hopefully, because if I set up on the right foot, we're gonna get a lot of grass in the way. So, I set up on the left foot, same thing, relax the impact, get the ground on the ball. All right? And then, what you basically need to do is practice that with various clubs. I use a 60 degree here. But you can use a 54, 48, something like that, 56, it doesn't matter. They have a variety of wedges to use. And depending on what kind of green you, you play with, don't play on. You know, here is early summer, so the greens are slow. It seems to be cut today, but not, you know, to fast speeds or something like that. And before you ask me about spin control and all that stuff, if you can't do this, you can't do spin control anyway because you need to be able to be consistent. This allows you, if you practice this, it will allow you to have a better contact, more consistent, and instead of changing your swing or something like that, you just change your setup, and then you change your club depending on what kind of distance you wanna put the ball. So if you remove the old habit, because I play with a lot of amateurs, and they go like this, and they realize too late that, and then they squeeze the club, and then they're gonna top push fat shot and they are losing shots a lot when they play. So develop good habits, and this is the real secret. This is this is what you need to learn to do that really helps you get those shots saved when you play around. So you can get up and down, what they like to say. All right? It's early morning here. We're gonna play 18 holes today. They promise us summer temperatures, 20 degrees today. And it's a lovely morning. We have some birds singing. <sighs> lovely. All right? We'll probably have some people struggling on the golf course today. So try that on. Let me know how it works.